Hi, this is your entire wreath, including the candy. I dip mine in varnish. You can use polyurethane or shellac, but you want to make sure that all of the food is covered. Once it's done and dry, then you're ready to embellish it. You can use plain ribbon, which is what I did here. I thought the yellow just looked so springy, but you can also find special ribbons. This one has little Easter eggs all around it. That would have been very delightful, too. When you put ribbon through your wreath, you want to start at the back behind a joint and come up through and weave it in and out all the way around your wreath. If you have a wreath that has, I mean, if you have a ribbon that is different on one side from the other and you want that side to show, you just need to make sure that that side is always up. Once you've gone all the way around your wreath, you want to secure your ribbon behind. It's very simple to do. Take your hot glue, draw a bead of hot glue, and secure it. Do that to the other side. And then you're ready to put on. This was a little jointed Easter bunny. This one happens to be a pin. He would go in there just as easily. And this was a stamp, or a sticker rather, from the stamping and sticker section of the craft store. Then when I was completely finished, I made a simple one-loop bow and put it on the bottom. And then you need to make some kind of a hanger and secure it at the top and as soon as your hot glue is cool, your jelly bean Easter bunny wreath is ready to go but not to be eaten.